The film opens in Italy, with two anglers braving their boat into the water around evening time. Their stereo is then taken submerged by an ocean beast. The animal gets found out in their net however figures out how to free himself, jumping out over the boat prior to vanishing from the men's sight. Under the sea lives Luca Paguro, a youthful ocean beast who lives with his folks Daniela and Lorenzo in addition to his grandmother. He should gather together some fish that behave like sheep while additionally stowing away from a boat that passes over the surface. In spite of his folks' alerts to stay away from the surface, Luca has consistently had some interest, and grandmother even energizes his curiosity. Luca runs over the stereo from previously. As he moves toward it, a figure in a plunging suit goes close to Luca. Believing it's a human, he conceals in a cavern. The figure pulls off their protective cap to uncover the other ocean beast from prior, a kid around Luca's age named Alberto Scorfano. Luca looks as Alberto goes up to the surface and changes into a human kid, and when Luca is pulled up out of the water, he does likewise. He is at first gone ballistic, yet he before long joins Alberto on the land once he figures out how to utilize his new legs. Alberto takes Luca to his refuge, loaded up with other human knickknacks that he has gathered. Luca sees a banner for a Vespa, which both young men are intrigued by. He then spends the following two or three hours assisting Alberto with making a shoddy Vespa until he needs to return home. Over the course of the following couple of days, Luca joins Alberto on a superficial level, in spite of the fact that his folks are both becoming dubious when he returns home late and they don't see him watching out for the sheepfish. The young men attempt to do a leap with their Vespa, however it continues to fall to pieces until they figure out how to make a more strong one. At the point when Luca keeps on showing dread and reluctance, Alberto lets him know that he has a voice in his mind, a Bruno, and he should move past his trepidation by pronouncing Silenzio Bruno. Tragically, when Luca returns home, Daniela and Lorenzo uncover that they realize he has been heading out to the surface, so they intend to send him off with his feeble uncle Hugo until the end of the summer. Luca tells Alberto of their problem, and his answer is to withdraw to the close-by town of Porto Rosso and figure out how to get their own Vespa and be free. The young men find out how to get into town in their human structures and spot different people in the court. Luca kicks a ball towards certain kids playing just for the ball to bob and hit a Vespa having a place with nearby domineering jerk Urkel Visconti. He is joined by his attendants Sixio and Guido, and Urkel goes to irritate Luca and Alberto. He attempts to drag Luca into the wellspring, practically uncovering Luca's scales. However, the young men are saved by a young lady named Giulia Marcovaldo. Luca and Alberto momentarily follow Giulia as she makes reference to that she loathes Urkel on the grounds that he generally singles out everybody and insults her for losing a nearby marathon, the Porto Rosso Cup, the earlier year since she became ill. In the wake of discovering that the fantastic award is cash, Luca lets Alberto know that they can utilize the cash to get a Vespa and satisfy their objective. Giulia lets them know that she races alone. However, Luca persuades her to let him and Alberto make a group. She takes the young men back to her home where she resides with her dad Massimo, a one-furnished ocean beast tracker. The young men attempt to conceal their ocean beast structures from him as he takes care of them pasta, which they love. Their feline Machiavelli is less inviting to the young men and assaults Luca more than once. The next morning, Luca and Alberto join Massimo on the water as he fishes, while both attempting to keep concealing their submerged structures. A short time later, they go with Giulia to pursue the race, just to track down Urkel there to insult them. After Luca looks at him to a catfish, Urkel's pride is hit and he chooses to let the young men enter the opposition to make sure he can focus on it their countenances when he wins. The children then, at that point, train for the three principal parts of the race, swimming a lap, eating a bowl of pasta, and afterward doing the last bicycle ride. Giulia takes on the swimming assignment, while Alberto should gobble up endless dishes of pasta in planning, and Luca rehearses bicycle riding. Daniela and Lorenzo acknowledge Luca is missing, so they go to the surface world and take on their human structures to track down their child. Since they have never seen his human structure, they go through the children in the square by making them fall into the wellspring and seeing that not a solitary one of them are Luca. At night, Luca converses with Giulia, who says she feels like an untouchable since everybody believes she's bizarre, which Luca connects with. She additionally enlightens him concerning the stars overhead which Alberto recently told him were fish. She carries Luca to a neighbor's telescope to see them all the more intently, and Luca is flabbergasted, notwithstanding. Alberto sees that Luca is investing more energy with Giulia and he begins to get envious. Giulia educates Luca concerning the school that she goes to in Genova when she remains with her mom, which provokes Luca's curiosity. Nonetheless, Alberto lets Luca know that different children wouldn't acknowledge them due to who they truly are. The young men are then found by Urkel and his followers, as he has become dubious of the young men. He compromises them and even smacks Alberto in the gut prior to saying he needs them out of town. When the children attempt to rehearse the bicycle ride through the town, 
Alberto takes Luca with him to demonstrate hatred for Giulia, prompting them tilting through the roads wild until they ride the bicycle off an edge into the sea. The young men contend. However, Giulia finds them once they turn human once more. After Luca tells Giulia he needs to go to class in Genova with her, Alberto then, at that point, chooses to uncover his actual structure to Giulia. Tragically, Urkel and his thugs are close by and toss spears at Alberto, who unfortunately escapes after Luca conceals his own personality and calls Alberto an ocean monster. Luca returns to Giulia's home. However, when he will not make sense of things for her, she tosses water on him and figures out he is likewise an ocean beast. She isn't stunned, but instead worried that the others out there could hurt him since Portoroso is a fish-hunting town. Luca then, at that point, passes on to track down Alberto at his hideaway. There, Alberto uncovers that his dad left him and never returned, and he has been living all alone from that point forward. Despite the fact that Alberto advises Luca to disappear, Luca needs to proceed with the race at any rate for their friendship. The day of the Portoroso Cup shows up. Giulia chooses to contend without help from anyone else, yet Luca appears and does likewise. He wears Alberto's plunging suit for the swimming part as Urkel attempts to get Sixio to go quicker by unloading olive oil on him, yet it just draws in fish that chomp Sixio. The others come to the pasta segment, with Giulia and Luca picking up speed, while Urkel stuffs the pasta into Guido's face to inspire him to wrap up. As the bicycle segment starts, it begins to rain. Luca can't get far enough without taking a chance with uncovering himself. However, Alberto before long runs toward him with an umbrella. Urkel wrecks Alberto, uncovering his ocean beast structure to everybody. As they begin to go for Alberto, Luca rides his bicycle and uncovers his actual structure too to save his companion. They then rush to the lower part of the slope as Urkel purposely attempts to kill the young men with a spear. Giulia rams her bicycle into his to save her companions, prompting her bringing a hard tumble down the slope. The young men cross the end goal however run back to help Giulia up. The residents then, at that point, encompass the young men, until Massimo protects them and proclaims they are the victors since their bicycle made it past the line. Urkel fights and orders his thugs to follow through with something but Sixio and Guido have had enough of his way of behaving so they throw him into the wellspring. Daniela, Lorenzo, and Grandmother all show up and uncover their ocean beast structures as they embrace Luca. Two older ladies seen all through the film likewise uncover that they are ocean monsters. Everyone praises at Giulia's home, and the young men purchase a modest, broken-down Vespa. Daniela and Lorenzo keep thinking about whether they have been too severe with Luca's interest and think perhaps he could head out to school with Giulia. Grandmother expresses that while not every person will acknowledge him, Luca is savvy to the point of knowing who to trust. Luca and Alberto go to the train station as Giulia is set to leave for Genova. Alberto then, at that point, lets Luca know that he sold the Vespa so he could purchase Luca a train ticket so he can join Giulia at school. Daniela and Lorenzo emerge to express that they talked it over with Giulia's folks so Luca can remain with her and her mother. In spite of the fact that Luca believes Alberto should go, he lets Luca know that he will remain with Massimo, assisting him with work in return for a spot to remain. The two young men embrace each other farewell and Luca expresses goodbye to his family as he remains outside the train in his ocean beast structure. The credits show drawings of Luca and Giulia having a good time in Genova while staying in contact with Alberto, Massimo, and Luca's loved ones. After the credits, Uncle Hugo is shown rambling to one of the sheepfish.